There are something I want to discuss with us. And I will try as much as possible to be brief. Recently, I found out that the number of fertility cases we are getting at the center, most of the main factors, they are either severe oligospermic or asospermia. Let's say I've seen hundreds main factor in fertility. Almost 60 to 70 of those main factors in hundreds are severe oligospermia or asospermia patients. So this thing starts disturbing me because uh, we need to know where the problem is coming from because how come a man just woke up one day and found out that there is no sperm cells in his ejaculate? But this video is for all men or all parents that has a male child. I beg you in the name of God, check whether the testicle of your son is descended, fully descended. All mothers should know what I'm talking about. All fathers also should know what I'm talking about. When your baby boy at about one year old, when you are bathing them, you are taking care of them, you are dressing them up for school or for anything, check whether their testicle is fully descended. Because I found out that if any man has undescended testicle, virtually that person will find it difficult to impregnate any woman. Because testicles, I'm talking about the boss, the scrotum, must descend out of the body. Because the temperature that sperm cells or spermatogenesis needed to operate must be a little bit lower than body temperature. So, if you have a son that has undescended testicle, please visit specialist hospital so that maybe they can perform one or two surgery and drop down the testicle. If that testicle stay inside the body, the heat of the body will have heat up the testicle and that testicle will not be good enough to produce sperm cells. I find that more of the main factors that have this problem have undescended testicle. As at the time, their parents are supposed to take action about this undescended testicle, they do not. And when a male child grows to 12 to 13 years and you are now running a star to sort out the issue of undescended testicle, then it's already late. How do you want those men feel about their parents when they know that it is the negligence of their parents when they find out that they have undescended testicle and they do not do something serious? That is number one. Number two, I call all men, if you have a severe oligospermia or a low fencant, please check if your testicle is descended or not. The third one is, I want to advise all men that they have low sperm count and you are taking treatment anywhere. Please stay away from trouser, boxers, brief that is very thick like cordial that can make your body to generate it to your testicle. If you are in the house and you are not going out, you can try as much as possible wear clothing that will be free so that the wind will blow through your body. It will help in getting your sperm count up. It is not too good for a man to wake up one day and find out that cannot pregnant a woman he claimed the love of his life. Please, 
More parents, check your main child. Check your younger boy. If their testicle is descended or not. So that in the near future, they won't be facing a serious issue of infertility that you yourself will have helped them taking care of when they are young and they cannot take care of themselves. My name is Roger Adeka in this summer. I'm a practicing fertility scientist in Kedja, Lagos, Nigeria. So I come your way next time. God is good. Bye.